on top the bike like E.T. Selling out arenas just to see me. Wrist so icy like Fiji. Y'all already know it's the AP. Six figures I was only for. Six figures I was only for. So much money I can't see the floor. I don't even open my own door. I, I, I was iced out when I was four. Blew it all, then I got some more. Blew it, blew it all, then I got some more. <laughs> Good morning, Parkville. Welcome to PTV News. My name is Ariana. My name is Noah. Today is Monday, February 25th, and it is a B day. And my name is Skyly. We've got a new edition of Around the World coming up for you today. Stay tuned for that and more after the pledge. I pledge. PTV would like to give a birthday shout out to Jalen Brisson, Kendall Watkins, Thomas Casey, Layla Lewis Amos, and Ahmed Soka. Happy birthday to all of you. Are you enjoying playing volleyball and phys ed? Do you wish you had more time to play? Well then, stay after school on Wednesdays and play. Permission slips are in the gym. If you have already turned in an after school intramurals permission slip, then you don't need to fill another one out. Again, volleyball intramurals after school on Wednesdays until 4 p.m. See Mrs. Klausmeyer if you have any questions. Attention 8th graders. 8th grade students have the opportunity to take a field trip to the North and Central Railway, Railway in New Freedom on April 18th. Space is limited to the first 100 students who return permission slips. Information slips are due back no later than tomorrow, February 26th. Please see Mrs. Kaczynski for slip or if you have any questions. Slips can also be found hanging outside room 214. You must return an information slip in order to receive a permission slip. Remember, only the first 100 students will get to go. Make sure you sign up for this amazing opportunity as soon as possible. Attention Running Club. We will meet tomorrow in the activity room at 3 o'clock. If you have any questions or would like to join as a new member, please see Ms. Mulvaney in room 222 or Mr. Sweeney in room 219. Once again, Running Club will meet tomorrow. Attention Athletes. Spring sports are right around the corner. Track and field and tennis are taking forms for the upcoming 2019 season. Official interest meetings will take place during an upcoming lunch shift. Papers are available in the gymnasium. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Jeffries, Mrs. Maranto, or Mrs. Kaczynski. Kajerski. Any 8th grade students with avid applications for Overly High School are due to Miss Luma by March 1st. Please see Miss Luma if you have any questions. Once again, 8th grade avid applications for Overly High School are due by March 1st. In addition, AVID applications for current 6th and 7th grade students are due this Thursday, February 28th. Please see Ms. McGregor with any questions. Once again, AVID applications for current 6th and 7th grade students are due on Thursday. Parkville's Talent Show will be held this Friday. The Talent Show will run from 6 to 8 p.m. The cost is just $2 at the door. Pizza and snacks will be sold during intermission. Come out to support the Student Council and see your friends' amazing talents. Once again, the Talent Show is this Friday. Hope to see you there. Attention all Spanish club members. We will meet this Wednesday, February 27th, from 3 to 3.30 in room 102. Bring a drink. Please see Ms. Serrano with any questions. Once again, Spanish club is meeting on Wednesday. To all 7th grade VGA students from the first and second quarter, this is a reminder that you will have your popcorn premiere at lunchtime in room 112. Just bring your lunch to VGA to see the premiere of all 7th grade claymations from the first semester. See you there. With February being Black History Month, we'll be highlighting the contributions of influential African Americans each day here on PTV. Today we recognize Robert Abbott. Abbott is well known for founding the Chicago Defender, one of the most popular papers in the early 1900s. At its peak, it eclipsed over half a million readers. 
Robert Abbott's paper encouraged many of the blacks in the South to abandon the area and head north for more hospitable conditions. He would also address multiple other issues facing the black community, such as Jim Crow segregation and the Chicago riots. Abbott founded one of the most important black newspapers in history. This made him one of the most prominent black millionaires and paved the way for other black publishers. For these reasons and more, Robert Abbott is well deserving of being recognized during Black History Month. And now we have a message from Mrs. Trivis. Good morning, Parkville. I'm joining you today on PTV to give you a few updates and reminders. First, I have two updates. If you are a student who comes in for breakfast, the doors will not be opening until 8.05 a.m., like all the other doors. All students should enter from the outside doors by the health hut. Some students are going to their lockers first and then going to breakfast. By now, you all know the process you are to follow, so teachers have been asked to give your assistant principal your name when you are not following expectations. Second, I have asked our teachers not to allow passes during the first and last 10 minutes of class. I'm announcing this because I don't want you to be surprised if you ask and your teacher says he or she cannot give passes during this time. They are following my direction on this. Students who walk out of class or who cannot follow the request will be referred to the office. Third, your teachers, counselors, and I know that it is not always easy to be a middle school student. There is so much happening. You're trying to figure out who you are. You want to make friends and keep friends. And for some of you, that is easy. And for others, it may be challenging. Some of you are trying to figure out social media. For the most part, you love it and it's how you communicate with your friends. At other times, social media is awful because people make poor choices when they use it. They lash out, they say mean things, spread rumors, or start fights. It's hard to know what to believe sometimes. You have to remember a few key things. First, you can only control what you say and do. Choose not to be mean. Two, you are valuable. Don't let what others say and do make you think otherwise. Three, if someone is mistreating you and won't stop though you've asked them to leave you alone, then you need the help of an adult to make it stop. You are not alone in dealing with this. Stopping someone from being mean will not only be good for you, it is also better for the person being mean also. Finally, we are members of a school community. We can't control how people outside of school act, but we can create a positive school environment by making good choices about how we treat one another. That's why I tell you about the 10-5 rule. So many of you are smiling and saying hi to me, and I love it. Sm simply smiling and saying hello is such a small thing, but it can make a positive impact. Make sure you are smiling and saying hi to your peers, too. Don't try to be funny or mean by commenting on something about another person, like their hair, clothes, shoes, or anything about them. Instead, look for ways to compliment people and watch how it makes them feel. You can see that it makes them feel good, and you'll feel good as well. We all want to come to school to feel safe and be in a positive environment, but we have to act positively to create it. So keep working at it. We have a really strong school full of amazing students. Each one of you can only make it stronger and better by being your best self. Thanks and have a great day. And now for more details about today's special segment, we send it over to Massa. Thanks, Massa. <laughs> Our special segment for today is the second edition of Around the World. Today we will be visiting the group of islands located near the Philippines, Indonesia. Indonesia is a Southeast Asian nation made up of thousands of volcanic islands and is home to hundreds of ethnic groups speaking many different languages. It's known for beaches, volcanoes, Komodo dragons, and jungles sheltering elephants, orangutans, and tigers. Let's go check it out. Mesos Indonesia, enggak punya skill, enggak apa, -apa. enggak punya otak, enggak apa, apa, yang penting viral, viral. Mesos Indonesia, yang penting cantik.
Mesos Indonesia. Hey guys, welcome back to Around the World of Massa. Today we have Faiza, and we're going to be taking a look at a huge part of Indonesian culture, food. So, you want to get started? Yeah. Sure. Right. Mesos Indonesia. So first we're going to start with um okay, let's start with opening the tea first. Okay. <laughs> um so basically tea is like a really important part of Indonesia. Indonesia. And then next we have um, the kue, which means cake or like sweets. Mm -hmm. And this is um, nastar. <laughs> nastar. And nastar is basically, um, you know, like a cookie, but inside there's like pineapple. Mesos Indonesia. We have kerupuk. I love. <laughs> okay, I love kerupuk. Like. Um, mm -hmm. So we put this in like um, every little thing, like with rice. If we don't have anything else to eat with, we eat, we eat this with rice. We eat this with like soups. We eat this with like chicken. Mesos Indonesia. See, this is like really sweet, and like we use this like in every little thing. Like <laughs> it's the worst thing ever because like it. Um, but we put it in our soups when like um, it doesn't taste good enough. Well, that wraps up our segment for today. Stay tuned for more information on cultures from all around the world with NASA. But for now, let's send it back to the anchors in the studio. Well, that wraps up our show for today. Thank you for watching from everyone at PTV News. My name is Ariana. My name is Noah. And my name is Skyly. Stay poppin', Parkville.